Jessica, my wife, babe, my boss, Mr. Richard. Good morning, sir. I think I, I know you. Yes, we met at the company's ex party last year. My husband introduced me to you. Oh, I forgot that. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your husband is one of the best we have in the company. Mm -hmm. Trust me, he's one of the best producers we have at Royals uh, Productions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he's a good guy. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> um, guys, let me burn down some of this stuff, you know? Else, my wife will send me back. Is that my favorite food? Making my favorite food? Mwah, hey baby. Mwah. This plantain had better be the best plantain I've had in my life. Come daddy, it's just fried plantain. But of course, when it's coming from the goddess, it is called goddess dodo. <laughs> <laughs> Run along. Okay. Run. 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 I'm waiting. continue to feed me with amazing meals and I pray that this food nourishes our body especially my body so that I can have a very big tummy like my boss Mr. Richards oh. <laughs> Amen Amen <laughs> You're never serious <laughs> You know I had to um. I thought you said I should do praise and worship for food Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Mm. How's it? 
Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the way the whole thing just melts in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> no, how can I not like it? You've been feeding me. You have been feeding me with amazing meals for the past three years. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I will feed you for the rest of our lives. Oh yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to finish this meal so I can eat the person who cooked it. Oh, <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. You want to eat the meal and the cook? That's like um, eating the food and the cook. You know my problem with you? Tell me. You're always ready. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Samson, open the gates. I'm still engaged. You guys just had a fight. And so? We can come stop, back stop, get off me, get off me. Stop, Baby, stop. Come. Get out of my bed. Stop, stop. Just been here, lying on the couch, waiting for you to. What? Mm, thank you so much. Mm, thank you. Sit. Ah, nothing more. Just been going through my phone. Mm -hmm. mm, and um. Babe, babe, not here. What? Not here. Easy, tiger. Easy, tiger. Easy. <laughs> Besides, you would 
take forever to change into something. I see this is revenge, right? This is revenge for me giving you Because mm. I know you. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. Figure it out. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Hey. Yes? Of course. Hello, Gina. How are you, Chris? Have I not told you not to call me when I'm home? My wife is here and I haven't told her anything yet. You have not told her? Don't call me throughout the weekend. I will get back to you with my response on Monday. You should tell her. Goodbye, Gina. Who is Gina? <sighs> no one. trying to reach me throughout the day about the contract they wanted me to sign. And I told her I was going to get back to her on Monday. That's it. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Why did you say all this downstairs? Because I expected you to believe me. I, I, why would you even think that way? I wouldn't hurt you like that. Are you sure? Yes. I love you. I know it's so sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I'm sorry. I just... I guess what I keep on making is so Nobody's having that attention. And nobody can. Yes. So, I'll be good now. Can I get some sugar? Really? <laughs>
Babe, can you please hurry up? Babe, I'm almost done. How are we going to make it to 7 o'clock service? Which is 7 o'clock when your makeup is taking 3 hours. Oh, babe, you know that's not true. <sighs> that reminds me, we have a child's dedication in church. We need to hurry up. Oh, please! My friend Deborah's baby shower is in two weeks' time. Will you be going with me? Be? I said my friend. Be? Yeah. I said Deborah's baby. I said yes. That's my ex's mom. Oh, really? Why did she act that way? I don't know. Um, she doesn't even attend this church. I wonder why she's here. Probably she's angry because of the whole breakup. The breakup? <laughs> you think this is about the breakup? Relationship wasn't end in marriage. I, I think she's here for the dedication. Do you still want to go inside or we should go home? Yeah, you know what? I don't care. Let's go. I, I didn't want you to know where I went to. 
Yeah. Why? Because it's supposed to be a surprise. What are you talking about? Babe. Remember when you tried talking me into selling out the right of my novel to your firm? And I stylishly ignored the conversation. Remember? What has that got to do with this? Well, that was because I'd already sold it out to another firm. And they recently paid me for it. So I decided to go to a car shop to shop for the car you always wanted. Yeah, because your birthday is in two weeks and I wanted to surprise you with it. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> babe, uh, you didn't have to. I, I was only joking when I said I wanted a Mercedes. Mm. Come on, baby. You've always given me everything I want. I mean, everything I've ever wanted, you provide. So I just wanted to give you something. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Mm, baby, it's okay. Come this. Let's play. <laughs> All right. Babe, hey. I feel so stupid right now. Oh, uh, come on, darling. You don't have to. I would have felt the same way. Listen, I'm sorry for lying to you. Hey, hey. Hey, don't apologize, okay? I, I should be the one saying sorry. And I promise henceforth that I will never jump into conclusion again without hearing from you first. Thank you, darling. And then I cannot believe you got me a Benz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. You, you know what? Tell me. For your next birthday, mm -hmm. you will be spending it in style. I mean, any country of your choice. <laughs> come, no way. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, come here. Thank you so much, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but seriously, Jess, uh, you deserve it. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> You've been the, the best, the best wife, mm -hmm. the best lover. <laughs> and I believe one day you'd make a best mom. Wait, did I say anything wrong? Not really. Let's, maybe let's play. Hey, hey. You're under no pressure. Whatsoever to have a baby. It is not your fault that we don't have a kid yet. Alright? And I love you. Alright? <laughs> so, can we go back to play now? Okay, but you drink first. That's for wasting my time. I know, I know you're tired. 
Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, um, I'm fine. How do you do? Not really, I'm not hungry. Oh. You want to eat something? Don't go there, baby. Baby, I told you I am tired. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> important too. Why do you expect me to prioritize having kids over my career? Can you even hear yourself? I want to be a dad, okay? I want to have my own children. Mine! I know. I want to be a mom too. I know you want to have your own children, but not immediately after marriage. No! Come on, darling. Jesus, come on, baby. I have my books to promote. The second one I'm about to publish, and the third one I'm supposed to be writing. Come on, darling, have you forgotten I even have a book tour? Baby, I cannot jeopardize all this because of children. I'm not ready to be a mother. Not yet. You know what? I'm starting to think this whole marriage thing was a mistake. Yes. I think we, we're making a big mistake. We're working into a pit. But 
like this. Let's talk about it. Please. I don't ever want to talk to you again. Never! Jess! that you were going to give away everything. I mean, you wanted to throw away everything we've worked so hard for. Easily. You wanted to give everything up easily. I was so mad at myself. I, I, I didn't even know what I was saying. I, I didn't mean them. <laughs> okay. But on the bright side, if we were able to come out of an argument like that, I, I don't think there's anything we cannot overcome. Right? And that's how it should be. I mean, that shows that we value our relationship more than our ego. And for every marriage or relationship to work out, you have to cut down on your ego. Boom! There. <laughs> what? Nothing. Uh, okay. I'm just... Uh, I want to... Mm -hmm. So you love me that much. Mm. Thank you, this <coughs> No distractions. <laughs> Back to my question. <clears throat> I said, is that how much you love me? <laughs> I love you even more. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. And I promise you today that I will never, ever leave you, sir. Hmm. So you're stuck with me? We're stuck together. <laughs> I got a spirit down deep in my soul. Exact opposite of each other. Good. They have different morale, different lifestyles, different values. What happens when two opposites meet? Thank you. 
<laughs> wow. This is a constructive criticism. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, there's a book I was reading some days back. I think you should read it too to help you with your book. Wow. Where's your laptop? It's on my car. No. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. not running anymore. Okay. Thank you. And where's your car key? It's uh, in the room. Fine. I'll just get it. Alright. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. same contract your boss's assistant called you about? Oh. Yeah. Well, I read through it and it's clearly written that they want to make you a head, I mean, put you in charge of the company in America. That's a good opportunity, but what I don't know is why you kept it away from me. Come on, Daddy. Why are you scared? Okay, you were scared I wasn't going to agree uh, because it has to do with you relocating. Come on. This is a good opportunity. I mean, I'm about pushing and I mean, promoting my last book. I mean, I'm free to travel too. It's a good opportunity for us. Right? The company only made arrangement for What? Baby, I know how this sounds, but you were going to join me eventually. Oh, no, you know you won't. You won't, and that is the reason you didn't bother telling me. Hmm. I really wanted to. When? On your way to America? You tell me. This is a good opportunity for me. Okay, this is my shot at being a Hollywood producer. I know it, you know it. It's a book. I'm hurt. Not, not because you're traveling, but I'm hurt because you decided to keep this away from me. You were going to sign this document and submit it to Barbara. Yet I don't know about. I wanted to tell you, I was going to tell you this evening. <laughs> just, just go away, wait, wait. Just wait. Jesse, baby, please open the door. All of this happened so fast. And I haven't had the time to think it through. If I could go with you right now, I would, but the visa would take too long to process and the investors are already becoming impatient. J Jesse, baby, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I couldn't tell you about it because I didn't want to hurt you. If you don't want me to go, I, I wouldn't go. I don't want you to go. Now you're being, you're, 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 you're not putting me into consideration. Eh? You're asking for too much, babe. Really? Yes, you're being inconsiderate. Try and be selfless for once. Oh, did you just say I'm being inconsiderate? I'm not the selfish one. Really, Chris, 
Chris, you are the one choosing your career over your family, over your wife. Yet I'm the selfish one. Oh God, oh God, oh God, God, God. Wait, we have, we have spare keys to this house now, to this room. But Jessica, why, why do you always like to be dramatic? Why? I know you keep speckies in your bag. Oh. Hello? 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 It's me. It's me, Chris. Why are you calling me? See me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I used you. Why 
should I talk to you? I was emotionally drained and exhausted. And I took advantage of the feelings you had for me, despite the fact that I was still engaged. Sorry. Come to the family house. Wait, I, I thought you traveled. I was. I came back a month ago. Just come right now. Okay. I'm on my way. Please, I'm very sorry. Yes, that's it. Last. We have a son, Chris. What? Yes. That night you invited me to come over when you and Jessica had a misunderstanding. That's when we had. This doesn't make any sense. We have a son and you didn't tell me. I was very angry at you. I had to leave to Lagos. At first, I wanted to flaunt the child at your wife's feet and scatter your relationship so I can reconcile what we had. Then, I realized you know. To me, the fact that our relationship didn't end in marriage has nothing to do with how I felt about you. I loved you. Earnestly, I do. As a matter of fact, myself and Jessica only started dating after we broke up. So that is the reason the woman is denied me. Because she felt that I abandoned you with the child. Chris, I did you a favor. How would you have explained to your wife that you cheated on her with your ex daughter You did me a what? How did you expect to tell your wife that you cheated with your ex girlfriend and that you have a son together? I wasn't in the right mood. I was so sad. I felt Jessica was going to cancel the wedding. I... I was drunk. You know it. I know it. Well, if the rumors I have heard about your wife are true, then I don't think she will forgive me. But if things go south, you will always be a I dare me. Please do. Hi, please. This is your bed. It's your bed. 
I'm sorry. I know it is difficult for you to forgive me, but I want you to see things in my own perspective. I was scared. I was scared that that making babies would ruin my chances, would ruin the, my chances, my goals, everything I had set aside. But then I stopped taking it. I stopped taking the pills when I realized that I loved you and my family and our family more than whatever it is I was chasing. I'm sorry, babe. What's wrong with you? My husband is at home. Are you crazy? Listen, I did what I did because I didn't have a choice. I told you earlier today that I don't want to continue with this anymore. I don't want to be with you. Can't you just leave me alone? Oh my. I am not fine. I haven't been able to. I 
can't do it. I can't do it yet. See, Mr. Lock, wait, wait. Hello? See, see. You let me on a lie. I love you more than anything in this world, but do not make me forget all of this now. What are you doing? So because you have the password, you feel like you can just have access to my phone anytime you want? I am not asking you to choose between the wife and the son. I am only asking that you do the right thing. This is wrong for you. And your soulmates of father. This is what sent I do your hair. Think about it, right? I had uh, I, I want you can talk. You you not suffer from speech impediment. So I have this song for you. I I I didn't I, I didn't want to tell you this way. I just found out today. I had no idea she she she, she kept the pregnancy for me. We we been through a lot and and I, I, I just want to bring this up. When did you see her? When did it happen? Remember three years ago? We, we had a misunderstanding. It seemed like we were going to break up. I invited Mr. Lock over. Well, we, we had a lot to drink and... And it happened. I loved you. Chris, I, I loved you. 
you so much. Oh my God. I have done things for you that I've hated myself for. For months I have lived in guilt. I have lived in guilt. Oh, what did I get? <gasps> You're human. Okay, I, I, I am human too. We make mistakes. I made, I made a mistake just, just like you made a mistake. How dare the... you say that? How dare you defend your action? I made a mistake. I loved you. I loved you. I hate you so much. Chris. I hate you. I hate you so much. You told me to trust you. You said I could trust you. You said you would be honest with me. You, you said you loved me. Oh my God, Prince, I fucking slept in your disgusting box just so you can keep your job. You did what? Don't do that. Don't tell me nothing is wrong. Let's sit and talk, please. Remember the last movie I produced? Yeah. It failed in the same way. And in fact, it, it was a box office failure. Oh. I'm so sorry, Davina. I'm really sorry about that. The company lost a lot of money, so much. The stakeholders, the investors, everybody angry. Mm. You remember my boss, Mr. Richard, right? Oh yeah, I do. You introduced us um, at the company's Xmas party last year. Yeah. Well, he says he. He needs somebody to take the fall. So he's firing me. What? Who are you? If that happens, I... no other production company will hire me. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry about it, okay? Just put yourself together. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Okay? I'm sorry. You are not a failure. Okay? Just a bad day, bad deal. Please come to bed. There was no point. Because I can see. I'm a failure, baby. Come on. Your husband is a failure. Baby, don't say that. You are not a failure. Married to a man who will always get back on his feet, no matter the number of times he's been pushed to the ground. Baby, you are not a fool. Okay. I don't know if I can stand up now. I mean, I want to stand, but my legs are shaking.
When I introduced you to my boss, he took a liking to you. And you just tried and helped me talk to him. I guess I don't know. If he doesn't relent, I promise I will give up on it. Alright? Hey, just come to the bed. Just come to bed now, please. I thought about this in the morning. Oh, babe, just tell me what it is. Please. I will. I will. Just come. Come. Uh, it's nice. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you left a very beautiful, wonderful, first impression at a time. <sighs> Thank you, sir. And um, I, I, was, I was surprised when I had your call. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I called because of my husband. Oh, that. I'm really very sorry, really very, very sorry. You see, I, I like your husband a lot. He is very hardworking and he's one of the best we have in this company, one of the best producers. And you, uh, it was quite um, a difficult decision to take, but the investors, you know, needed uh, that to happen and they needed a, a scapegoat. Uh, my hands, uh, I mean, was tied. I get you, sir. I understand everything you've said. But we both know Chris is good at what he does. Yeah. Sir, you are influential. And I am convinced that like, you can talk to them, you can convince them. Chris is good at his skills. Please, sir, help us. I accept with you. I am quite influential, okay? Yeah. I know that um, I, I can turn this whole thing around. I can turn oh. everything around, you oh, see. I can, I can, I mean. But you see, it, it has a cost. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Jessica, you are a very beautiful woman. Yes. And uh, I'm sure you are. Uh, you, you will understand. You see, it, it, it's, it's what you can do.
aqui. Come here. Mm, this 
boy is definitely heavier than he looks. That's because mom has been feeling him well. Oh, I have been doing it all alone. Oh. Well, you don't have to do it. Oh, thank you. Adi, come let me show you around, okay? Watch your step. Watch your step, boy. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes. Challenges are not challenges that can be fixed. I don't even think we can ever be the way we used to be. What he did is not, it's unforgivable. What I did is equally unforgivable. How do we get past this? you did whatever you did out of love for him. Why, why won't he just see that? No. I did it for my own selfish interest. I didn't do it out of love. See, I have always dreamed of a happy marriage. I've always prayed for Wait for you, happy boy. Yes, I have. Until he came back home, he lost his job and came home broken. Mm. I couldn't watch my husband cry. I, could, I couldn't stand it. I was so scared that my, my dream of a perfect home was going to crumble. I was so scared that I was going to lose everything. I was scared that, I was scared that our happy moments would end. Instead of me, instead of me to be by my husband, supporting him emotionally and physically, I decided to sleep with his boss. I decided to sleep with his boss because I thought that I would have fixed things. I slept in with his boss and built everything. I'm a horrible person. No, you're not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Listen, Jess. <laughs> Every woman out there, desires, prays for a perfect marriage, a happy home. It doesn't mean you are selfish. It doesn't make you selfish. Come on. But those women, they don't sleep with their husbands, boss. They don't take best control pills because they're scared of getting pregnant, because they're scared of being okay. Okay, baby, you need, you need, look, you need to move past this. Forgive yourself. I have spent so many months alone raising my son all by myself. No more of that. My son deserves to be raised in a loving home with good parents. Your time is up. This is my time. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll be fine, okay? 
Can you please be careful, okay? I will. Especially now that I know that you still love me. See me, I, I was worried. <laughs> and you're the mother of my child. I care about you, and that is how I will always see you. Just that? I don't believe you still love Jessica. After everything she's done to you. I am still mad at her. And I don't know if we can fix it yet. But I love her. And I care for her deeply. And the kind of love that I have for Jessica, it doesn't just disappear overnight. Chris, she hurt you. And I hurt her too. I don't know if she can forgive me. I don't even know if I can forgive her too. But that is not a fact of feelings that I have towards her. That night, you had a misunderstanding with her. Chris, you called me. Yes. Because I, I, I wanted to talk to someone. I wanted to talk to someone who understands me. Someone who knew me. Someone who would listen to me without judgment. And I, I felt you with that. Yes. Not, not because I, I still have feelings for you or something. You understand that. I swear, babe. Let her go. Babe. Babe. Stop him. Stop him. Madame. Open the gate.
Right now she has 50-50 chance of survival. Hey! And even if she survives, she will still be unconscious for a long time. Dear Lord, I am an imperfect being, but that does not justify the wrong that I have done, the evil that I have done. I have inflicted a lot of pains on my wife. I have offended you, and I have offended her. But dear Lord, please, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon her. Forgive me. I promise that I will change my ways. Let Jessica wake up. Please, Jessica. I cannot live my life without you. Please, Jessica. Don't apologize. I've forgiven you. And I hope you can forgive me too. You know we say it is easy to forgive when we say forgiveness is a choice. Uh, but we all know that it is a difficult choice to make. Especially when you've been hurt and betrayed by someone you trust. Maybe I believe. I believe that with time, we'll work on a mental 
the broken bridges. I believe that too. Babe. I love you. I missed you so much. I missed you. And I love you too. Today, tomorrow, and forever to the day that I die.